girls welcome back to my channel so i have another wig from idn hair y'all and this wig is so pretty like the curls are absolutely gorgeous now this is how the unit comes it comes with the hair like finger coiled i would say and you do have to separate them i'll show you guys how i did that but i just wanted to show you guys the construction and whatnot so i really love the construction of their units because they give you so much parting space like going back in on the side so that's perfect for that deep like curved part or for the girlies that like to do like twisties and braids and things like that on the sides and their lace is freaking bomb so it comes pre-plucked it comes pre-bleached y'all so right now i'm just separating it oh and i got this unit in a size small so I usually get the regular size with like all companies, but in order for me to get the wig to fit in the back, I have to cut away a little of the lace and the hair in the front, which I don't mind doing, but it is a little bit time consuming, especially if somebody doesn't know how to do it. But with them, I had never got a small before because usually when I get a small, it's too freaking small and like the lace won't reach my ears. So I was like, I'm gonna try a small this time. So I got a small y'all and y'all gonna see how freaking good this wig fits. So if you have a small head, this is perfect for you. Well, I don't want to say 100% perfect because I don't think my head is too small, but it's flat in the back, if that makes sense. But other than like separating the curls and cutting the lace, and then of course I put my perfect line in my parting area, that was literally all I had to do to this unit, y'all. Like cut the lace, put my perfect line. If this was a straight unit, then you wouldn't even have to separate the curls. You would just cut the lace and put your perfect line in the part and that would be it. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue separating these curls and then I'm gonna apply the unit and y'all gonna see how good this thing fit. So here are the curls all separated y'all and look how pretty it is like it is so gorgeous to me so now i'm going to go ahead and apply my perfect line so this is a knot and grid eraser y'all so what this does is it fills in the grids on the lace so it doesn't look like the screen door if y'all know what i'm talking about um and it also camouflages the knot so these knots are bleached but if they weren't bleached the parting area would be camouflaged by the perfect line so i use the shade tan um you go ahead put it on the inside flip it inside out and add a little bit of oil to like really rub it in and I use the comb to kind of press it into the lace and into the knots and these knots were a little bit over bleached so I'm taking a little bit of black and brown foundation I mean not foundation eyeshadow on like an angle brush and I'm just filling in the parting area and making it a little more crisp and a little thinner So I put the unit on and this was my first time getting a small from them y'all I told y'all that so I'm just checking everything out to make sure my hairline is covered because sometimes when I get the small then my hairline be peeking out and I'm like I can't put glue on my actual edges so like that's not gonna work but this one fit so good all of my hair underneath was hidden I didn't have to cut any of the extra lace off the ears or anything like that I cut a tiny bit there's like two rolls of hair on that maybe that I cut from the forehead, but that was it y'all. This unit just fits so good. So now I know that for IDN, I could get a small. That was my happy dance. <laughs> Stop. 
So for my adhesive, I use the EBIN spray. I freaking love that stuff. It works so, so good. And then I tied it down for a bit with my elastic band, took that off y'all, and it was looking flawless, okay? It looked so good, but I went in with my pressing comb to get rid of some of the crunch from the holding spray and to also just get everything nice and swooped back or pushed back. And then I added a little bit more mousse to the front because for me pinning it back and just like moving the hair, it got a little bit fuzzy. So I wanted to rehydrate it a bit. So this is how it turned out, but it was looking a little bit too flat for me and I just wanted to kind of shape my face a bit. So I went in with my shears and I'm going to cut some layers in the front and a few around like the back and side area, but mainly in the front, I kind of cut, I don't know if they're considered curtain bangs on curly hair, but I wanted kind of really short bangs, but not that much in the front, but I still wanted to keep my part, if that makes sense. So that's what I did. I made the front pieces pretty short, um, but yeah. And like guns with the egg in getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing, had a nigga come huffing, got me too excited. So added a little more mousse to the bangs because you know when you cut it, it gets all frizzy. And this is the final look. This is how the back looks, y'all. Nice full unit. The curls are beautiful. And I'm going to show you guys all of the parting space. So you can get some really, really deep parts in here. Um, and yeah, that is it for this video. I will have everything down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.